What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the setup I have underneath my tarp here that keeps it uh, raised up so the water and stuff don't lay on it. Keep watching. I don't know if you're like me, but when I'm ready to go fishing, I'm ready. To, I want to go. I don't want to spend a half an hour, hour, whatever, getting my boat ready. So my boat is always ready. So as soon as I hook up on it, everything is in there. The way I did these supports is I just took PVC and uh, just made a, put some tees on them. I didn't glue all this. And what's happening is during heavy rainstorms, it's uh, pushing the PVC down and they're falling down and stuff. So we're going to see if we can't fix that. What I think I'm going to do is I had short pieces of PVC on the ends of these and what it would do is one would sit on the seat, one would sit up here. What I think I'm going to do, so this can slide in the taper of the boat, I've got a stick of PVC and I'm going to start with making a solid connection between each rib. It'll make it a little bit harder taking putting it on and off, but I think it will support it during heavy rainstorms and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're, we're going to cut two 44 inches. We're going to primer the end of that. Primer the end of this. I'm also go ahead and clean these up while I'm right there. Both sides. We're just going to glue our straight lines on first until we see what angle we're going to need on the uh, on the bows of the PVC. Oh, those look pretty straight. I have found that uh, when you're gluing these long ones in, you're better off to have it all set where you want it because it kind of gets a different angle to it. So it beats the heck out of trying to twist it to where you want it at the end. There. And the same as here, we're going to put this T on, this T on, all at the same time, so we can tweak it right where we want it. Okay. Let's do this one, this one, that way everything gets kind of twisted right where we want it. There, we got the front two bows done. And remember, we're going to glue these so they're the right angle. So let's, let's put our three foot piece in. Primer that. And a little bit of glue. Alright. Let's slide the two together. Here we go. Okay, remember what we found from earlier. If you 
don't have all this where you want it when you glue it it's going to be the wrong angle I mean it wasn't off by much but enough that uh, enough that it made it difficult to put in there so we're not gonna we're not gonna get crazy this time we're gonna try to do it right What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this piece extends and sets on this seat. And that will help support the weight of the water or anything. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cross beam across here with a 90 on each side here. Which is a little more than a 90 but we'll work it out. That's the best part about working with PVC. It will take and bend and, and stuff so... I'm going to put this 90 on, and then to get it the right way, I'm going to just lay it right there at the bottom of the boat there. And let's get the one on the other side. Looking at that black sky right there, uh, we better hurry this project up. We're going to put it to the test. And we'll go this one. The reason I put this cross member here is when I take this out. I don't want it to spring up and hit me or anything or anybody else that might not know that it's spring loaded. So. Alrighty, that fits pretty good. I want to put one across the back. Well, here comes the rain. Just show how quick it goes on and off, but uh, we're gonna stop as it is. Uh oh, better quit. We didn't get it all strapped down, but we got it. Uh, our brackets on so let's see how we're doing. I see we got a little bit of water laying in the front. Well it looks like it's working pretty good. <laughs> 